difference, uh, a total apathy, yes, on the part of those that are oaths of office, right, mm -hmm. on the part of law enforcement, too. And I would say uh, there's this apathy about the, uh, the enforcement of the attorney oath, yes. Now, there's this conscious indifference, yeah, of really not caring what happens to anybody else, even though you have sworn, yes, that you'd support the laws, mm -hmm, the individual state constitutions, and the United States Constitution. <laughs> now, this deliberate indifference, uh -huh, the careful preservation of one's ignorance despite awareness of circumstances, yes, that would put a reasonable person on notice of a fact essential to a crime. Yeah. See, dual instruction. Oh. In criminal law, awareness of the disregard for the risk mm -hmm, of harm to another person's life, body, or property. Ouch. In torts, conscious disregard of the harm that one's actions could do to the interests or rights of others, of another. Yeah. Reckless indifference, conscience avoidance, conscience indifference, gross indifference. Now, for every law school of the United States of America, your apathy, your conscious indifference, your, what, what is it again? Uh-huh. Uh, your preservation of your ignorance, the, I do know, but I'm not going to do anything. Oh, you know, you don't know. Oh, well, when I email constitutional attorneys that happen to be faculty members of institutions of law in the United States of America, <laughs> your intentional uh, want of being ignorant to the actual misprisoning of felony <laughs> means that your deliberate indifference is a tort lawsuit. <laughs> now, for every institution in this great nation that said, I'm going to be ignorant of any violating of the civil rights of American citizens. <laughs> I'm going to be ignorant of any kidnapping. Ouch. I'm going to be ignorant of any child abuse. Yes, cruel or in inhumane treatment of American citizens and the indignity of a poor... <laughs> I'm going to sue every institution of law in this nation that has the authority of being ABA recognized yes, to issue a law degree where you said we're going to be ignorant of the actual violating of the laws of the United States. Now, get me your bar associations that because of your law degree, you are able to join the bar. And because you could be a member of the bar... You could practice law in the United States. <laughs> now, your apathy, pooch, your indifference, pooch, your cruel, inhumane treatment, <laughs> and your indignity to me because of my being poor. Yes, when I get my sons, I will tell you right now, I will tell you right 